Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking with Indian Cowboy from DocSports.com. And uh, normally Indian Cowboy requests the games that uh, he wants to do. But uh, this week in college football, I asked him to take a selection of these rivalry games. And he, uh, I'm very happy that he obliged. So I'm very thankful for that this Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, this one is going to be a tough one. Baylor, Texas Tech. Indian Cowboy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks for having us, Pete. All right, I appreciate you covering this game. You know, some of these games you have uh, stronger feelings than others, but uh, you basically cover every college game anyway, right? We do. We basically re research all the top 25 college football games, along with the SEC and the NFL is predominantly what we focus on. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, tell everyone what uh, Doc Sports is all about, DocSports.com. And, uh, you know, everyone knows you from the football videos you do with us here, but, uh, you know, at your site, you particularly do particularly well with basketball, right? Yeah, well, we were number one in all the monitoring services in basketball last year. We did exceptionally well. Uh, 94 and 62, 60% 60 for plus 12,890 in the NBA, which is number one in the country. Combine that with the fact that we were 65 and 45 in college basketball. Uh, together, we were 156 and 103, uh, basically 59% for plus 17,310 for the $100 person. We were phenomenal in basketball last year, number one in the country. We're doing well this year again, 17 and 10 right out of the gate in the NBA for awesome. plus 20. 50 winning season in the NBA last year, or winning season in college basketball so far. We had uh, Tulsa beating Auburn yesterday in a, in a route. Uh, prior to that on Sunday, we had Texas A&M to beat New Mexico. Uh, so we've consistently done well in basketball. We had a seven-star win on the Eagles over the Titans this past weekend. So we're very excited about the football card on Thanksgiving week, probably between five and seven selections, of which we always give at least one or two of them with you, which is always nice. Uh, and we, of course, we do a daily complimentary video every single day, which is widely viewed and, and widely appreciated because we've done 61% of comp selections for two and a half years now. All right, that sounds great, Indian Cowboy. Well, Baylor and Texas Tech is the second game we're going to cover here, and this is a tough one, at least on the spread. Maybe you like something on the total, but, you know, Baylor obviously should have a big edge here, and that's reflected in the line. They rolled Oklahoma State last week, but that spread was too high. They did lose against the spread. And just, you know, looking over how these teams have done this year, yeah, I could easily see a 28-point win, could easily see a 21-point win. The side to me looks like as coin flippy as it gets. Maybe the, the total, at certain, which is currently 79, might have more value. This is a tough one, though. Thanks for taking it. What do you like here, Indian Cowboy? This is a really, really tough game, um, and for a couple reasons. But keep in mind that, obviously, the college playoff system has really changed a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, right. There's an incentive for teams to show up every week now. There's been, in other words, just winning straight up won't just keep you in the number two or three spot. You have to win, and you have to win convincingly these days, and that's something to take notice, which is great if you like to play favorites, especially small road favorites, because these teams really show up um, in order to win and to win by a wider margin. Classic example is Kansas State when they faced West Virginia. They went on the road, they did what they needed to do, and they won. Uh, keep in mind that Baylor put up 63 points on this team last year. They beat them 63 to 34. Prior to that, Baylor beat them. There's just something about the Texas Tech defense and the Baylor offense that just doesn't go well for Texas Tech. Mm -hmm. Baylor beat 52 to 45 the year before. They beat them 66 to 42 the year prior to that. Baylor consistently has always done well. And, you know, Baylor beat Oklahoma State, who's actually a much better team than Texas Tech, and they ended up beating them by you know 21 points. So, and but the heavy, heavy public play here is probably going to be on the over and on Baylor. So it's really difficult to say. If you like Texas Tech, you want to lean on the over. But then again, if you like Baylor, you probably want to lean on the over as well. So 79 points doesn't seem that much of a far outcry. And if Texas Tech even remotely shows up for this game, this team is going to fly over because Baylor is going to sh score their fair share of points. I mean, Texas Tech gave up 42 to Oklahoma. They gave up 34 to Texas, and Texas has a pretty anemic offense. They gave up 82 points to TCU, and right. Baylor's <laughs> offense is, is, is equal to that of TCU's, if not better. They gave up 31 points to Iowa State. We actually have this game at 85 or more points, so we might as well go with the over, too. Rather than pick a side, let's just pick fireworks. 79 points is not that far of a cry out here. And Texas Tech, the only way they cover here is through their offense. It's definitely not through their defense. We like you over here. Awesome analysis, Indian Cowboy. At first glance, I was thinking, man, this is a tough one. This is a pass. But uh, I think you might have nailed it there. Right now, 79 is the widely available total. Indian Cowboy liking the over on that one. Thanks so much, IC. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.